Hey guys, and welcome to another Daily Tip episode here. It is Thursday, February 12th, 2009, and as you can see, we are again inside of Reaper recording software here, and I'm going to show you a little bit about um, effects, adding effects to tracks, and also sends and returns so that you can organize things a little better. Um, and on Tuesday's video, we sh or I showed you how to... Um, create folder tracks and I also showed you about how to undock and dock the mixer at the bottom and uh, I like to keep the mixer off so that's why you don't see it um, in my interface right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some tracks here so we can just kind of uh, get a visual um, I'll add I don't know maybe four or five tracks here um, just so we can kind of work with them inside of the mixer and things like that um, so we've got five tracks here and say we want to add effects to um, things but we don't want to see uh, a list of effects rather than going to the little effects icon and having things scan and do all this um, stuff um, and then we have to go back in here to see what all effects are applied to that track well go ahead and click control M to bring up our mixer and if you have this kind of stretched out here you can see that we have if you roll over we have these little um, of, uh, little blank areas here if we scroll over with our mouse and those are actually effects slots that you can use so if we go ahead and click on one of those you get your effects dialog box that comes up and so if we double click on an effect um, you can see that it already adds it to the top of the stack and if you go down to another place we click it again we'll add another uh, another effect and as you can see it just keeps on going um, and if you expand this more you can get more and more you can have as many effects as you want on a track as um, you need um, the master uh, also has that in, so if you wanted to add like a master compression over the entire um, tr uh, over the entire uh, mix then you can do that on the master here um, another thing that uh, I want to go over here is sends and returns now basically what a send and return is is allows you to create um, several tracks and route all those tracks into one single track that you can apply effects to, change volumes, and things like that. It sort of works like foldering in a way, but it's with effects and everything else. Um, so this, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll route track one. We'll route track one and two and three to track five. Um, so what we want to do here is come, there's this little dividing bar between your effects and your sends and returns. You want to click below that bar. You click that and you get this little dialog box up here that here you have receives and then you also have sends. Now we want to send this track to track 5. Now once we've done that you can see that you get uh, an actual level thing that you can change here. But if you go over here this is your actual send spot and this is now being sent to track 5. So if you adjust your volume on track five it'll actually adjust the volume on track one as well and the same thing with effects because you're actually sending this track to track five it kind of works like foldering in that way um, so I'll also send um, track two to track five as well as track three to track five so we have all those sends um, now going to uh, to track five. Now on track five, we want. And if you click on there, you can actually go ahead and see that it automatically puts your receives in for track five. Um, now, if you were to apply an effect to track five, say uh, you wanted to apply like compressor or something like that to track five, that would now affect tracks one, two, and three. And, but see so you can also apply the effects separately to each track by going to the individual tracks and applying effects so there's a lot of different options you can do with sends and returns as you can see um, and yes it kinda works like foldering in that way um, so there's uh, a little bit about um, how you can get deeper into Reaper and really start um, to mix your uh, mix your uh, uh, your music like uh, in any other high-end recording software or something like that something like that so uh, Thanks for uh, checking out this tip, and uh, we'll be doing some more inside of Reaper and more daily tips here.